I see it's 13 of y'all in here already. What's up? What's up? Man, why it look like that? The camera look horrible. Why? Let's see if I can do that. Ah, right, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Who we got? Who we got? We gonna wait till some more people get in here. Um, uh, I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about what has what's been going on. Shamika, what's up? Cheeky, what's up? Clocko seven eight, what's up? Justin, Jermaine. G. Hefner, Q. Hefner, I mean. Yellow Mushroom. Pat Watson, what's up? And we all, we got that meeting coming back. Everything, you know, going to get back to normal or whatever. Just had some things that happened, you know, so I want to tell you guys about that. And then, you know, we're going to get started with the prison episode. So we're going to wait for some more people getting here, then I'm going to start. What's up, Lucky? Neil? Corey? O's Odyssey, what's up? Jamar, Alf Alpha, Alfia, I think that's what they say. Star, Cinnamon. I'm about to tell y'all about that right now. They asking this lake, okay? I'm about to tell you guys about that right now. Okay, so me and Laco have been going around trying to buy properties, you know what I'm saying? To start his business. You know, we're gonna build his business on the property. You know, so we going around to buy land. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about with trees and woods, things like that. You know, acres of land. You know, and these not your city or state properties. Because, you know, they got to do all kind of different things with surveyors. Then they want to cut down the trees and send it to G uh, Georgia Pacific and different things like that. And you'll have to wait to do what you want to do. So we've been looking for private property, privately owned. So as we go into these properties, you, you know, we, we looking around and different things like that. You know, we up to grass. Let me know when I come back, then I'm going to start. Gerald, Gerald A. Stokely, I appreciate the donation. Uh, let me know when I come back, then I'm going to start. You know, so uh, y'all can hear me? Can you hear me? We hear you? Okay. So... You know, we we going through through different properties, you know what I'm saying? And we not paying attention, you know, that people that own these private properties, they spraying things on these properties, you know, to keep rodents out and different things like that. You know, we just going around trying to buy property, you know, to get, get these businesses started and things like that, to help my boy get on his feet or whatever. So we went around to about, you know, maybe four or five different properties or whatever. So later that, you know, well, I ain't going to say later that day. I'm going to say that next day. When I started doing the, the episodes, I'm feeling my, my voice leaving, but this happened to me before. So I was like, I ain't make no big deal out of it. I was like, I, I'm just going to start ending the episode because my, my voice, is, is, you know, I, I felt something with my throat. Uh, Alton Goggins, appreciate it. Appreciate the donation. Um, I felt something with my, my throat, you know, and... Day by day, it was just getting worse. You know, I was actually telling you guys on the episode, you know, so I'm thinking it's just a me problem at the time, you know. So I finally say, you know what, I can't take it no more right before our episode, uh, our Q&A. I can't take it no more. I got to go to the doctor. You know what I'm saying? I was sitting up in here to get ready to do the Q&A. So I heads out. Uh, Kai Royale, what's up, sis? So I'm, I, I heads out and go to the doctor. So when I get to the doctor and they run all the tests and they figure out what the problem is, then I then they tell me I got into, you know, two different poisons. By itself, they harmless. But together, they lethal. You know, so, you know, I, I, they put me on IV and fluids. They been did that as soon as I got there. You know, but they came in and started treating me or whatever. So while they treating me, I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. I was with my homie, you know what I'm saying? So I end up telling the doctor and all that, you know, my homie got into the same things. So I gave him his address and they sent the ambulance to his house. You know, good thing they did, you know. So he gets there, the doctor let me know he down the hall, they treating him or whatever. So I end up getting treated, uh, being treated and being released. So I, you know, I went and checked on him or whatever. And they was getting ready to discharge him as well. You know, uh, I'm on antibiotics, you guys. So, 
So yeah. So they was end up, you know, they they treating him. So he said, uh, I'm, they about to discharge me. So I said, all right, look, I'm going to wait with you then. So we left the hospital together, you know. I took him home. I came here. You guys was telling me to get some rest. But I was like, man, I'm feeling better. I'm feeling great, you know. So I started doing the episode. You know, I got a little tired, you know what I'm saying. So I was like, all right, I'm going to rest or whatever. So, you know, I did that. I came back and did that other short episode. I did two short episodes. That's because, you know, I was re re my body was regenerating. So I did two short episodes. So I said, I'm going to go check on my dog. So I go check on Laco. Now, he on the floor when I get there. That's nothing new. You know, when you come home from prison, you can't sleep on the bed. It's too soft. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to get you gotta get back and get used to it. You know, you that will mess your body up. You know what I'm saying? You just used to sleeping on hard, you know, concrete in the mat or, you know, some kind of slab in the mat. You know, so that wasn't nothing strange. It, what got strange is when I got closer to him and he just on the uh, ground and it sounded like he ain't breathing at all. He breathing, but he breathing real, real slow and real, real low. So I'm trying to wake him up, but he won't wake up. So I'm, I'm going to keep it all the way real with you. And I, you know what I'm saying? I told my dog, I wasn't even going to tell him. I mean, I carried my dog to the car. I picked my dog up and took him to the car. He, 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 don't, he don't even want me to say that, you know what I'm saying? But he's much better, you know what I'm saying? And, and he always, anyway, I picked him up, really, and took him to the car. Now, that's a big dude. Lego, a big dude. Lego bigger than me. You know what I'm saying? I picked him up and took him to the in, in the car. You know what I'm saying? Put him in the back seat, driving, talking to my wife the whole time, telling her what's going on with him. I'm like, man, this dude fading or whatever. So when we get to the hospital, they they immediately grabs him, cause they, you know, he at this time I didn't know what was going on, why he wasn't getting better like I was. He had an allergic reaction to the medication they treated us with. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that was the crazy thing about it, you know. And, man, when I got there, I stayed there for about eight hours. You know, they wouldn't even let me see him. You know what I'm saying? They were telling me they weren't going to let me see him until they put him in a room or whatever. Then I could see him or whatever, you know, because they like these medicines that we got to use. to reverse that, then give him some other kind of medication or whatever, however they did that. I don't know, you know, but man, he was bad off for about 14 hours. You know what I'm saying? He was out for that long, you know, but when he woke up, I was right there. You know what I'm saying? I told him, he was like, then that, you know, and that was not too long ago. You know, wait, he, he, he's just now getting back. He's still in the hospital. You know what I'm saying? So he like, man, man, don't you supposed to be doing something? I was like, man, yeah, I'm doing it. I'm here with you. I'm doing it. You know, then we just get to laughing and talking as normal or whatever. And I was telling him about his situation when I found him or whatever. We went through that. You know, what's up? What's up, uh, Forrest? What's up, baby? Yeah, so it was, it was a crazy thing, you know what I'm saying, to see my dog. I just got you back, bro, and now I'm about to lose you. You know what I'm saying? I picked that dude up and drove him all the way to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? That's that's brother, man. I ain't about to let nothing happen to bro. That, that's crazy. You know, and then we both got in this together. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it, it's crazy. But, and the other thing, okay. So, after I said, he told me to come do this live. He was like, man, go do that live, man. Go ahead, bro. And so, I left. Now, as I'm walking out the hospital, I get a phone call. I'm like, hello? And this is a dude named Daniel, one of my little buddies, uh, Moon Styles. Appreciate the donation. It's one of my little buddy's mothers named Daniel. So she like, Daniel ain't, you know, Daniel coming home all hours of the night. You know, now keep in mind, I've been doing so much lately and being on YouTube and doing a lot of videos back to back and stuff like that. You know that I kind of slacked up. I go there for an hour or so, and then I leave. So I'm not really paying attention to what's going on at the community center. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm focusing here. You know, on here, the the script, the the my business, different things. I got all this stuff going on. So 
I'm neglecting my 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 buddies, you know, the ones who I'm really trying to, you know, leave a good impression on, you know. So anyway, she called she called me and tell me all this. He's doing this. He back acting out. He's doing this. So I go to the uh, community center, you know. So I posted the post about the prison live. I was still headed to the community center. So I get to the community center and, you know, the, the DO, director of operations, get to telling me, uh, yeah, you know, we've been having some of these little guys from, uh, I don't know if it's the 300, the 600, or whatever, you know, or whatever. I'm like, 300, 600? You know, I'm clueless at this time. She's talking about gang members that we have here, 300, 600 members, you know. What it do, baby? Uh, twin love, what's up? So, you know, while I'm there, I'm starting to talk to some of the guys that's actually, you know, then graduated, but still go here. So I'm talking to them and they like, man, hey bro, you know, a lot of these younger guys, and they, they can be easily influenced, you know? So with all your teaching, bro, you know, it's still when they don't see you, when they don't see you show up, uh, you're sorry, you're sorry, appreciate the donation. You know, they're like, when they don't see you, you know, that all that start floating from their head, you know, cause other dudes coming in, they started hanging out. He was telling me about how the 600, 300, I don't know which one of them it is. What, they'll come there and they're hanging out regularly now, you know, no kids turned away. So they, they can hang there. So why they here, they recruiting. Why they here, they recruiting young guys. You know, that's why I say my fight is harder than ever. Like, I'm going to do this prison live, but, you know, uh, I'm taking this weekend off. I'm going I'm going to this community center. I'm going to get at my little buddy. I got a lot of things to get in order, you know. And then I'll be back, probably drop that episode Sunday or Monday. But I got an obligation that I have to stick to, man. I have to keep these guys. I appreciate it, uh, Q Hefner. I got to keep these guys on a straight and narrow. And I know I've been, my presence, you know, been getting shorter and shorter there, you know. Even some of the older guys, they was mad. They was mad at me. Man, where you been, man? We ain't been seeing you, bro. This and this. They just... They getting on my head and I'm just sitting there like, yeah, it's my bad. It's my bad. Like, we got to go to YouTube to catch you, bro. We got to go to YouTube to catch you. So, you know, my, my little buddy's feeling some kind of way, you know. But like I said, I talked to Daniel briefly and told him, you know, I'm, I'm coming. I'm going to spend the weekend with you guys or whatever. But you guys got to be stronger than this, bro. And I'll tell y'all about what he been into. You know what I'm saying? Like, these guys real serious business uh, here. You know what I'm saying? These guys really out here doing stuff. I don't know about if y'all heard about all the stuff with Dante, which is my little homie. Uh, I, I practically raised him. They call him True Bleeder. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might know him by True Bleeder. I practically raised him in the jungle in Glen Oaks. You know, that's where, I'm, that's where I was for a good little period of time. And a lot of people know me in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, when they got hit up on Blue Bunny, you know what I'm saying? I also know the guys that hit them up. You know what I'm saying? So, it's a crazy thing. You know, uh, Dante lost his brother, Mun, you know, years before that. Dante was still a little boy. He wasn't even, you know, leaving out the yard at this time. You know, but his mama, Keisha, you know what I'm saying? Her, her and my wife had a good friendship or whatever. To me, he was a good child, you know what I'm saying? He just, you know, got caught up in some wrong things, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, you know, I, I knew him well, 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 you know. So I, every time I catch him, I talk to him and, you know, try to put something in his ear or whatever, you know, nothing nothing major. Because after he just started doing his thing, he just started doing, matter of fact, Monkey, all of them who I told you about that's in prison and, you know, with my homeboy Dre and all of them, who, how Dre got it. And Monkey still in there. A lot of things going on right now, especially, you know, I hear about it first. I, it's New Jack crew around the world now. You know what I'm saying? It's in your state. New Jack in, I don't care. If you go to prison, New Jack is in your state now. It's in your state now. We more underground because of the, the gang restrictions and things in, in different states. But we there now. We there. You know, I'm hearing about things in Florida. I'm hearing about things in Detroit. 
I'm hearing about things everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. We everywhere. This is a man. And half of them members, I don't even know them. But they know me. You know what I mean? And and like I said, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. This thing that took a life, it took on a life of its own. But the general purpose of this, this new Jack crew is not to be a gang. It's, it's to use the, the same numbers to, to have a positive out, outlook on everything. You know what I'm saying? To help people that's weaker than you. To, to do all that. You know? Now, I'm going to get past that. We're going to get into the episode. All right. Now, on this episode, what I'm going to do is, besides that Friday, okay, I'm going to speed this up like a week later. You know what I'm saying? Speed uh, on the weekend. Uh, take it up. Because everybody started, like, since everything has started happening, dudes started getting it left and right. Everybody just started getting on their guard. They're getting real restricted. They ain't moving. So I'm going to fast forward, forward to that hadn't passed. Everybody back comfortable, back moving around freely, thinking everything over with. You know, so a lot of things happen. Now, the thing that happened that Friday is... Uh, um, Mackin told the CO to put me on, told again, you know, he, he, he put the emphasis on that every time I get there, put him on tote, you know, so when he, when they left, I went on break, I was breaking, I ain't tote that day, I ain't tote Friday, you know, so that's the only thing that happened Friday, you know what I'm saying, so we gonna go to Saturday morning, we gonna pick up from Saturday morning, okay, sleep late, lose weight! So we wake up, it's a non-work day, we all get up, get ourselves together, and we all head out the door to link up with the, uh, the rest of the crew. Now we out there, we talking, we see kiting them down there, got a lot of different people out and about today, you know what I'm saying? Dudes ain't been out the dorm in about a week, because everybody's just plotting, doing this and doing that. They, you know, they've been ducked off. So now I'm seeing everybody coming back out. You know, we start feeling this at the same time. We've been cooped up too much. So now, you know, we all back out and about. So I appreciate that, Shamika. So while while we out and about, you know, I hear one of the crew members say, look, look, look. I'm like, who the, what? And I look and I say, no sense. I see no sense. He spots us and he, he takes off running. Now he walking with a CO and he takes off running. He run straight up to us, man. When I tell you, everybody in the crew started hugging him, grabbing him, or whatever. And and and, and the CO, the CO, this is uh, CO Preston. Uh, Y'all missed the live uh, 26, episode 26. They deleted it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I said. Before I do that live again, I have to think, you know, what did I say, you know, that brought that about. But anyway, he's walking with CO Preston. CO Preston is a, uh, a CO in the uh, block, in the cell blocks. You know, so <laughs> he runs to us and CO Preston just shakes his head or whatever. He, he, a cool, he a cool CO. I ain't lying. He don't bother nobody. So, you know what I'm saying? And he runs up hugging us. We hugging him or whatever. And we stand out there talking. Now, while we out there talking to no sense and we so happy to have him back or whatever, you hear a kite. Hey, what y'all having a retarded reunion? Yeah, look at them. They having a retarded. So I'm like, man, I don't even say nothing to the dude right then. I'm like, hey, y'all, man, come on. Let's go in the dorm, man. Because we want to talk to no sense. See what's been going on with him, you know? So we head in the dorm or whatever. We back in dorm D chilling, talking to no sense at my rack. We just talking to him. And he say, gee, I seen Gargamel when they brought me from the hospital to medical. I seen him. He's in there. You know, he telling us, because he don't like Gargamel, period. So, uh, he telling us about Gargamel that's in medical. We know he in medical, you know what I'm saying? But he tell us Gargamel and that laid up. Now, I thought you weren't going to stay in medical, which he don't stay long. But, you know, we thought he was going to go get patched up and come right back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but the, when you got here, that wasn't lethal at all. You know what I'm saying? So, or uh, whatever. All right, so we talking. And then the door open. And then the dude walk in and he say, Say to the Eric, man, let me get some for a hundo. So the Eric turn around and he spots dude. 
Now keep in mind, the Eric, the Eric has seen everything he he been doing around there. We all have. So I see the Eric talk to two of the homeboys he got. He got two homeboys. He and you can tell this is what he say. You can see the Eric go to his rack and go get something, which I assume was his weapon, and he tell his homeboys something. And this is what I assume he said. Hey, man, this dude been jacking everybody, man. Y'all come with me, man. Come, come watch my back. So they start walking towards uh, uh, Black, Big Boy. They start walking towards him. Now they talking, and the air say, hey, man, hey, bro, show me the money, bro, because, man, I've been hearing and seeing everything you've been doing around here. So Black say, so you going to play me like this, man, because you say you've been hearing and seeing. Appreciate the card, the card. Appreciate the donation. Um, cause you've been seeing and hearing everything I've been doing. This how you gonna try to play me, man? He, yeah, bro, you you been you been messing over, dude. Have I ever messed over you? No, bro. I do good business, bro. I just wanna do this the right way. Just show me the money, and we can do the business or whatever. So he like, so th this what you sticking with? You show you won't do this. He like, man, just give me the money. So black goes in his pocket. No kidding. Huh? Right here. I mean. That weapon had to be super sharp. If you know, the forehead is the hardest part of the body. That weapon went straight there. And after he did that, oh, what y'all here for? What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do? Man, hey, man, I ain't got nothing. He just told us to come up here. We don't know what he talking about. His boss just copped out on him. Just copped out. Now he's still laying here. And Black talking to his boss. They bagging up. So, he, he don't stick him no more. He get down, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, where is that? Where is that? I know you got it on you. Yeah, let me get that. Yeah. Now, y'all watching this man punch your boy on the ground and go in his pockets and take everything from him. So he started just searching this man. I mean, he's searching this man good. He even walks over to this man rat in his locker to make sure he ain't got no more product over there. That's how bad dudes was off with this stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, he go through dude locker. Now, dude laying here. You know what I'm saying? And on this episode, I'm going to be fast forward and passing past the COs unless they do something, you know, spectacular, you know, besides what they normally do. All right. So, he laying here. Black then went through, took everything out of his locker, and took his time and walked out the dorm. Now, he doing this to... Countless amount of dudes. They starting to fear this dude. Now this dude is just a, I say, he about 5'9", but he, he, he a big kind of fat dude, you know, but he's solid with it. You know what I'm saying? I heard he knocked somebody out, you know, or, or something like that. He had a dude one time just messed up and broke his jaw, knocked him out. You know what I'm saying? So he already had that reputation going and passed around the prison, you know, quickly. So... Okay, so this this happening, you know what I'm saying? So we de we decide, hey man, the CO's about to come. Let's go outside. You know what I'm saying? Now we see the CO's coming, everything, but we gonna fast uh fast forward past that until they didn't got him and took him out, and we just outside chilling. So we outside chilling after the CO's done wrapped that situation up. Now we talking, we you know we happy today. No sense home. Then I hear no sense speak. Gee, that guy's moving. You know, I'm thinking, okay, he moving. You know what I'm saying? But he said again, gee, that guy's moving. So, you know, he's being more discreet than he normally is. He ain't loud with it. So I'm just kind of looking out the corner of my eye going back to talking. Because if this guy is moving, he's stopping when I start back talking. So I go back talking to the crew or whatever, we talking, you know, and I can see no sense just watching him. But I don't want, if he is moving, I don't want him to see me watching. So, so, uh, <coughs> so, okay, we still talking. So I, I'm looking out the corner of my eye and I see dude, he inch up close. Now the reason why I thought dude wasn't really, you know, focusing on us is because he was already beat up. You know what I'm saying? He was already swole up. You know, so I'm watching him and I see him move. I shake my head. 
I shake my head, but I don't say nothing. You know, I let him continue to play in whatever game he about to play. Because at this time, I still don't know what, what, what his objective is, you know. So we still talking. Dude move again. But he moving closer to the group I'm in. We still spread out. Not as far. We still spread out in group of fives at this time. But he's still moving. So this dude may do this about three more times. And then he takes off at me. He comes straight for me with a weapon. And I see him and I move out the way. By the time I move out the way, the crew is on his head. Boom, 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 boom. Now, they got him. They got, they got the knife out of his hand and they beating him on the ground. So I'm like, pick him up, drag him in the dorm. I know what this is. I know this is a hit. I know what this is. Pick him up. Let's go. We, call, take, we take him to the bathroom. So we pick dude up. We take him to the bathroom. He hollering the whole way there. He terrified because something, something, we not knowing at the time, something had to happen to him already. So we take him in the bathroom and boom, 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 boom. I'm talking about I'm working this dude. Boom, boom, boom. I'm hitting him everywhere I can. I can see him, man. He balling up, but I'm still working him. Now, I work this dude till I get tired. Man, y'all go ahead and work him. Uh-uh, he ain't work him. Hurt him. So I, I, got, I got them in there working him. Boom, 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 boom. They punished. I'm talking about all you see is everything flying. They hitting him. Boom, 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 boom. And, and my crew, I got some nice size boys on them. They boom, 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 boom. Every time they hit him, he uh, uh, uh. He whining. You know what I'm saying? So after, we, we must have beat this dude for about 15, 20 minutes in that bathroom. I say, man, come on, pick him up. Pick him up. Come on. So we takes him back outside. We, we carrying this dude. Pick him and takes him down to where Kiting him at. They, they, they went in too. And we take him, open the door at, at their dorm and throw him inside the dorm. And we wait. We wait. We, we go back down the dorm D and we wait outside. And we see Kite come out, uh, out the uh, dorm and he's smiling. I, and I tell him, you going to have to do better than that, homie. Yeah. All right, that's how we doing? Yeah. So, I later found out, Kite and them had that, this dude came in their dorm, they beat this dude up because they know we didn't know him. They beat him up and they made him do, he was coming straight for me. He ain't go for nobody else but me. Kite sent him there strict, strictly for me. You know, this dude ain't go at, he ain't try to attack nobody else, not even swing a punch at nobody else. You know, but he was trying to, Get rid of me. He came at me hard. I just knew he was coming, you know? And if no sense wasn't so discreet as he was, he would have knew I knew. But he didn't. I ain't paying him no attention. You know, I, I, I performed well under pressure. I performed well under pressure. You know, so they, they, they smiling or whatever. You know, you could tell they go back in there and ask dude what happened or whatever, whatever, uh, you know, with that situation. So... We head back in the dorm. Now, when we get back in the dorm, you know, we had been outside for a little minute, you know, and then went in there and took care of that, you know. So we walk back in the dorm, and all this just happened now. All this stuff just happened. So I see Sean, homeboy, go up to him and say, hey, man, I need to holler at you, man, solo, bro. I need to run something solo. So him and his homeboy, they go walk to the bathroom. Now we all back in there chilling again. When all of a sudden we hear wrestling and hollering and everything coming from the bathroom, but ain't nobody but Sean and his boy up in there. So we think, what's going on? What's going? So we strike out, you know, Sean crew strike out right behind us. When we get there, all we see is this. They, he wrestling his homeboy. His homeboy trying to stick him. His homeboy really trying to stick him. Really, really. And his homeboy almost got him at this point because Sean getting tired. You know, like I said, that's a dude. He from Florida. But he messed with his, you know, Florida members or whatever. But they all bigger than him. You know what I'm saying? So dude, dude wrestling him trying to hit him with it. 
So the crew, his crew get there and take off in the bathroom. They start beating dude. Boom, boom, boom. But they ain't the crazy thing. I'm going to get to the crazy part. Boom, boom, boom. They working dude in the bathroom. Boom, 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 boom. Sean walks out the bathroom, pass right by me. Like, hey, what the hell you doing? He leaves out the bathroom. He goes somewhere around one of his crew members, wreck, and he comes back what looks like a small paint can, you know? It's just a small little can, you know? And he goes up to his homeboy who tried to stick him, rack. So he pulled, a, he pulled his little blanket off there, peel off there, throw that on the floor. Then he pulled his stuff on there. Then he flipped the mattress over and pulled some more stuff on there. Then he go back to the bathroom. Yeah, come on, bring him, bring him, bring him. So they picking him up, wrestling with dudes, they're punching him, they giving it to him. And they bring him and they put him on the rack and they holding him there. And Sean punching him and talking to him. So this how we, boom, boom, this how we doing it, huh, huh? So yeah, you didn't let that stuff mess with your head and somebody that gave you something because he a user too. <coughs> His homeboy was using, you know. And Sean, you know, he trying to make money. I ain't feeding you, I ain't hand feeding you, you know what I'm saying? So they, he got, he went and got it from Duda Baby. So they beat him, boom, boom, boom. So finally, Sean say, back up, back up, he good. So dude trying to get up, dude can't get up. Sean and them steady working him, boom, 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 working him. So now we seeing this, we, at the time, I don't know what this is that they didn't just use. I later found out this is some kind of strong seamstreet glue. You know, Sean worked in the prison uniform, I mean, the prison clothes and all that stuff, and where they make clothes and different stuff like that. You know, they work in the prison, you know, thing like that. You know, I didn't, I never uh, worked there, so I don't even know what that is. You know, but I know that's what they was doing up in there, making prison uniforms for our prison, they, other prison, and plus, you know, we wear regular clothes as well, too. So, all kind of things going on. So, you know, they got this man glued to the bed, and they working him, boom, 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 boom. At this time, you can see this, they, they knock him out, wake him up again. Knock him out, wake him up again. Knock him out, wake him up again. They just re repeating this process. They, they beating dudes so bad, they, they busting him up, waking him up again. Busting him up, waking him up again. So after a while, after a while, you see dudes saying, all right, this going too far. Now, when you see dudes like this, this be the more scarier dudes that ain't got no crews that be going to get help. You know what I'm saying? That's who go run out, go and get help. More of the scarier dudes, unless something happen to one of your homies, then you gonna send help. But anyway, you know, we see some of the, you know, just, uh, I don't even know what they even call them. Just some random inmates just leaving out and they know it. So I'm like, I'm telling the crew, come on, man, we about to get up out of here. I don't wanna be nowhere. Man, they done messed that dude up. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't wanna get this live deleted. Man, they done messed dude up bad, bro. You know? Let's go. So we head back out the dorm. Now, I'm going to fast forward through the, the CO's coming because they raised their little hell or whatever because of the simple fact is, and they imp impl implemented a new policy because of that glue situation that they snuck this from work. You know what I'm saying? So they had repercussions for that. You know, but they still ain't find out who did it. The last person they was going to expect was showing them because that's their homeboy. So, you know, they take dude, we see dude come out of there. They have to take, they have to get, you know, the maintenance workers and all them dudes, the orderlies to come and break, break this down. They had to take the whole wreck. You know, that's how, that's how powerful that glue was. Dude wasn't just getting off it. They ain't got no solvent. Nothing you put on there and it's over with. No, man. Uh, Nadine Holloman, appreciate the uh, cash out, appreciate it. So, you know, we watch them, everybody laughing at dude because they got to roll, take him out with the rat. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody just out laughing or whatever. Now, fast forward, fa uh, fast forwarding that up, you know, maybe like an hour. So, an hour later, you know, we had seen Sean them, they left out, out the dorm when we did too. We seen them walking at the back. I'm like, damn, what, what are they doing back there? So, all of a sudden, we see them come flooding out. And they got one of the boys, uh, homeboys blocked in. 
and we run up there to see what's going on, but we ain't going too far because we still got our eye on kiting them. So we watch dude, please, bro, please, man, please don't do this, bro. Please, bro, I ain't having nothing to do with that, please. He begging. He, man, this dude here, and you know, I ain't never seen it quite like that, like just in front of everybody, just please, bro, please. They don't have no mercy on him. Man, dude, his home homeboy tried to take him out. Huh, 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 huh. Every last one of the members. Huh, huh, huh. Going in on this man. Strike out. Strike out. Man, when I tell you, man, they gave it to dude, man. They they gave it to dude decent. You feel me? And left him there. Now, me and my crew, we that's the that's the thing. We learned it and we stick with it. Wherever the CO's coming, we ain't gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? And they coming while we outside, we're going inside. They coming inside, we're going outside. So now <clears throat> everybody pretty much caught on to this. I'm just um, you know, I can do head gestures. Let's roll. You know, and they with it, they know what's up. So we go back in dorm deep. We chilling. Now the CO's outside dealing with this medical and all them dealing with, with dude, you know, do the baby homeboy. They deal, they dealing with this. So we back in the dorm. Now, I told y'all, we've been getting all kind of different people in. They've been relieving the block. They've been transferring dudes to the new prison. They've been doing all kind of things. That's why all of the new prison stores, you know, because I'm going to go ahead and just tell y'all, I do go. I do get, you know, and if you miss episode, the episode 26, then, you know what I'm saying, you'll know I am getting transferred because I did take that time. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but like I said, uh, they out there dealing with that. Now, I got a dude named Frank. You know, he know what's going on out there. Dude owe him some money. You know, I my people send me some money. I go, I put something on, you know, you. And then we both get high. We both get high. And when I need it, you pay me back. So he he high. And this stuff, you know, he ain't had in a minute. He go up to do, hey, bro, come on, man. I got to give me something, bro. See, O's outside while this going on. Hey, bro, I got to give me something, bro. Come on, man. You want my money, man? Bro, you want money? He started pleading with dude to give him his money. And he seen dude had when and got him something and went ducked off. Uh, Miss Lady, appreciate the donation. Seen dude had when and got him something, ducked off and used it. You know, now he want a payback so he can get his fix. So he started talking to dude. Dude don't want you like, man, come on, bro. Come on, man. Hey, bro, I need it, man. I'm telling you, bro. You don't see how bad I'm sweating, bro. Hey, bro, man, I got to die real, bro. Come on, man. You know, they using that H or whatever. And he pleading. He's, now, we sitting there. You got dudes that's laughing. You got all kind of stuff while dude here. So, dude just looking around, looking around him, you know what I'm saying, to see who would, uh, man, I'm going to point here first. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the lightning fast dude just come out, huh, hit him there first. Then went straight to his neck. Huh, 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 huh. I told you to give it to me. I told you, man. You did this, man. No lie. No lie. Dude's busting out the door. Dude's busting out the door to go get the COs. They right outside. He ain't even there right now. He's still searching all this man stuff to see where he either hid the money or the product. He's still searching. It's how bad off he is. Get out! Get out! Get out! No. I gotta get this. He's still whining. I gotta get this. I need this. He's searching everything around him, bro. We like, man, hey, bro. Dude, go on, man. And they steady. Stop moving! Stop moving! He going, he, now he's in a, I don't know if y'all know, a fit. He's in a fit now. He's moving around. He still ain't got what he want. He just did this. He ain't got what he want. He getting madder and madder. All you see is, boom, boom, boom. Because they still got to get to old boy. You know what I'm saying? He just did it. We got to take you down. You know, I understand some situations when they have to react the way they do. You know what I'm saying? I'm not an unreasonable person. I know what's right and what's wrong. So they take him down. Like I said, these new weapons they got, 
I don't know where they coming from. You know what I'm saying? We're in 2004, 2005. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of things starting to change up in the prison system too. You know, so it just ripped every time they hit him. Now this lethal force they using. Ripped him to shreds. I'm talking about knocking chunks off every time. You know, so <laughs> so, you know, bro, they come in the dorm, they do whatever. I'm going to fast forward this up to that night because this is something spectacular. And after I tell y'all this part, I'm going to stop because I am going to be working on either I'm going to do a live. But like I said, uh, I, got, I got some other engagements that I got to get straight first. And, you know, I'm about to organize that. And then, so, okay, we fast forward up to that night. Guards had to wrap this situation up, took old boy down. Medical came in, got old boy, you know, unless they do something spectacular. Okay, which is coming. Okay, so, now, I'm going to fast forward up to that night. We all in our rack sleep. Now, I'm in my rack knocked out, man, cold. All I feel is this. Get up. Get up. Get up. Let's go. It's Mackie waking me up. Let's go. Where you, where you taking me to? Go to the bathroom. So, I'm already knowing what time it is. But I ain't knowing what then happened to make this come about. So you gonna defy what I say and put yourself on break? How you know about that? Who told who told you about that? You know, I'm looking at, I'm I'm dumbfounded at this time. You know, and he going on and on, taking off his stuff. So if I tell you to do something and you do the opposite, he taking taking off. I'm talking to him, man. Listen, man, hey bro, them dudes wasn't working or whatever. I had to do what I had to do. You know, get it done or well. Boom! Punch me in my mouth. You know, as soon as he hit me, I'm spitting stuff out. You know what I'm saying? Hitting me hard. So I'm sitting here, I'm mad. Because he talking to me while he doing this. Boom! Boom! Yeah. You gonna learn around here. We the power. We the power. And you the po overpowered. You gonna understand that. So, in the bathroom. He just start working me. Boom, boom. I'm talking about he ain't using the nice stick. He punching me. He having he having a workout on me. He coming from my body. Boom, boom to my face. Boom, boom. You know I'm balling up or whatever. Cause I'm thinking, should I do this dude? Should I do him? Cause I can hurt him if I want to. But I'm like, nah, G. Nah, G. Just take it. So he hit me. Boom, 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 boom. Then I fall on the ground, he started stomping. Boom, boom, boom. Now this time, the crew up, and I see Jesse. He's shaking his head. I'm like, I'm on the ground doing this, because I'm, I'm looking, my eyes blurry. You know what I'm saying? I got tears in my eyes, I can remember this. I never forget it. Got tears in my eyes, I'm on the floor, balled up, and I see them and I tell I'm doing this. You know, don't want to be too obvious, but telling them no, go back. I don't want y'all to suffer this, you know, you know, and I just stay in that bathroom and let this dude beat me and 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 beat me. And beat me. I'm telling you. So the bigger th the biggest thing is. Who read it? Who read it? Who told you this? So that's where the episode going to pick up from. Who the rat is? We trying to find out who. Read it to this guy. Now, me and Jesse on the workforce, you know what I'm saying? And another one of our homies, he came to the uh, workforce. You know what I'm saying? Josh, he came to the workforce. Where we at, you know? So, we sitting sitting around and even Josh, Josh was like, hey, bro. Hey, bro, you know, this is what, after I got that beating, you know, he left me in the bathroom after he beat me. You know what I'm saying? So, I got that beating and laid on the floor for a little while, you know, just to try to, Get, get my, pull myself back. You know what I'm saying? He got his stuff, walked on out. Like he ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? So the crew come in, 
they they got me or whatever, and they like, hey, bro, come on, man, let's get you back to your rack, though. So they they get me up off the floor or whatever, take me to my rack, and that's where they talking to me at. We got a rack. We got a rack there, and we got a rack here. Because things been going out that Lieutenant Grimes been finding out about as well. And they've been implementing new policy because of this ratting situation. And the reason why people hate a rat, because everybody in there is doing something they're not supposed to be doing. They'll rather a dude, true, get violated and don't do nothing to them than a dude ratting, messing up how they still feeding their families from prison and a lot of things they got going on. So this is why dudes hate a rat. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of it had been going on, but the episode, I can tell y'all this, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be nice. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm gonna be working on it every, every chance I get. And then plus, you know, I'll be back at it full speed, you know what I'm saying? Uh Sunday or Monday. You know what I'm saying? But I have a responsibility. I have to go back. You know, I ain't never seen my little buddies, you know, had as much resentment in their eyes, you know, and that's hard for me, you know, because I put a lot of time in with them. You know, to earn their respect and their trust. You know, to value what I say. Torch, hey bro, hey bro. See this guy, Torch? Man, I want to meet this guy here, bro. This guy here, he's always, bro, him and Courtney, man. But like Torch, he different, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and like I said on the episode, I ain't going to even go through the semantics right now. But I am on the episode, like I said. But... You know, and I'm about to increase my output. You know, I'm about, I'm about to, once I deal with my little buddies, I'm about to start trying to give most of them a job, trying to get Lego business started, trying to help you guys on there get this business up. I'm going to start putting them links up because a lot of that I can do moving around. You know what I'm saying? Uh, maybe I might be able to do uh, something while I'm moving. I don't know. Maybe they'll be interested in watching me how I make a video. You know, I'm going to find something to do with them, man. We losing too many. We and, and this is this is beyond race, you know what I'm saying? Because this is just teenage guys. You know, I got Caucasian youngsters that I mentor as well. You know, they in the hood too. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of different things going on, you know, and these guys want to feel important, man. They want to feel like they belong to something. So they join in these games, you know, and then you gotta do an initiation, you know, you gotta go harm somebody, you know what I'm saying? So, man, I'm doing my part and I'm trying to prevent that. And plus, like I said, when we get to season five, you know, maybe not season five, because I'm gonna name the new prison season five so I can keep up with it. You know, I'm gonna start something different with that too. Plus, when I get to my last jokes, you know, me and old school, the old school I met that helped me really, really, really. I was already changing and I was already this person, but it's this old school guy who I met that started me thinking a different way. And he, you know, I don't want to get too much in there because it, it the prison I go to now, like I said, I'm a multiple offense, what you call it, you know what I'm saying? And I know these stories bad, but they get worse. You know, they get worse because with every prison you go to, it's, some, it's a different way they operate, you know? Some of them, they like to violate guys tremendously, you know what I'm saying? Some of them, you know, and some of them just like to fight, you know? You know, until somebody else bring a weapon in a situation, then that change the dynamics of the prison. You know what I'm saying? It's just like real life. It just operates different back there. You don't know what's going on out here. You know what I'm saying? So you can't have a decent thought. You know, all you know is this world. You know, like I said, like it's, it's some true things that happen to guys when they come home from prison. Like Laco, you know, like me, we couldn't sleep on a mattress. We had to sleep on the floor. You know, you you wake up, the mattress too soft, your body in knots. You know what I'm saying? You used to sleeping on something hard, you have to stay there. I talked to another guy, he he was the same way. Slept on the floor the first two years home. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't even sleep, you know, with, with his woman or whatever. Had to hit the floor. That's just the way it is, you know? And especially when you did time, you know what I'm saying? And like my time, you know, I had different amounts of time going through each prison, but it was back to back. You know what I'm saying? It's like I never really enjoyed life outside of it at the time. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing all this time back to back. And Laco time was 15 years back to back. 
You know what I'm saying? And well, not back to back at one time. You know what I'm saying? He did 415. You know. So, but he he is motivated just as much as I am by pushing this message. He know he. That's why he told me, man, get out of here, man. Go do that live, bro. Go do that live. I'm be alright. I'm be here. Come out of me when you finish. I'm like, alright. You know. He round people. See, and another thing, he cannot be home alone. That's crazy, huh? A grown man got his own apartment, own car, everything, but spend most of his time with me every day. Every single day. He looking for me, you know? And that's nothing bad, because I was the same way. It's crazy, that quietness is gonna mess over you mentally, because you're used, to, you're used to constant movement and different things going on, you know? So, man, yeah, so yeah, like I said, I'm gonna check back on my homie, and and I don't know, you know, maybe I might do either another live or no, because I really want to catch all these next episodes and and the episode form, because you know I want to get into that. I want to get into them because a lot of things happen, you know. But yeah, so I'm a, I'm a, I gotta go do my responsibility. You know what I'm saying? I just can't stand that. You know, when you had guys that listen to your every word. And know you telling them for they be, they benefit, you know. Now some other guys that's they age that's easy to do too. Guys they own age can come erase everything you as an adult teacher in a matter of seconds can wipe their mind clean out, you know. And the guys that this happening to is the ones I haven't spent as much time with as my older buddies that graduate. But I got them in now. I have to go and build that place inside of them. I have to build that place inside of them. You know, they wondering why we gotta go to YouTube to see you. You know, yeah. So, it's a, it's a crazy thing, but you know. I appreciate it all, Consuela Butler, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Juan Guerrero. I appreciate it, I appreciate all you guys, man. You guys are family, bro. And I and we, we headed somewhere, man. A lot of things coming up and a lot of people trying to not you know, if, if I was doing something bad, they'll be all behind it. But by me doing something good, they don't want to see that. You know what I'm saying? They, it's like everybody, you know, want to see drama. And, and I get that. Drama sales. You know what I'm saying? I get that. But when we living in the real world, that's the that's the last thing we want. You know, I, I you want to watch drama going on in somebody else's life. But when it's happening in your life, you wish it in. You know, that's exactly what I'm trying to do, you know. Yeah, I'm trying to reach all over in different communities and change this, and I need you guys' help as well. Let's change some things. But, like I said, I'm still going to tell y'all all my journey, you know, and I hope it helped a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to keep pushing that New Jack crew. We're going beyond that. You know what I'm saying? So, appreciate you guys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see you talking to somebody. Okay. I appreciate y'all working together, man. That means a lot, man. That means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. I appreciate a lot. A, a lot of you guys. I watch you guys. I don't jump in always in the comments. I just watch the interaction you guys do in the comments, man. And it's and it's wonderful, man. We got some powerful people on this channel. You know, you know, and like I said, we got doctors, lawyers, all that on this channel that contact me and tell me they want to help with this part of it, this part of this business, this right here. You know, so we're going to put all that in perspective when this, when we start traveling. And that's going to be coming soon. So we're about to be doing a lot of traveling. You know, hopefully a lot of you guys on New Jack uh, on this channel going to travel too, you know, and help out. So I'll see you guys later. I got to get started with this, you know, and whatever chance I get, if I can make it in on the weekend, drop an episode, I am. But I ain't going to promise that. I, I got previous engagements that I got to go do. I'm going to go do that. But I'm really going to try it, you guys, because I appreciate you guys for being here. I, I love y'all, man. Oh, who that is? Taylor Stephanie. Bye, fam. Bye. I knew what you, uh, yeah. All right. See y'all later. Uh, Raina Henrik. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try my best to have a good night. I appreciate that. All right. Lady Buck, see you. Uh, what they say? Blue, Lucifer, see you. AC, see you. Holler back at you. I love y'all, man.